The Kalachuris of Tripuri, also known the Kalachuris of Chedi, ruled parts of central India during 7th to 13th centuries. Their core territory included the historical Chedi region, also known as Mandala, and their capital was located at Tripuri, present-day Tuwar near Jubalpur, Madhya Pradesh. The origin of the dynasty is uncertain, although one theory connects them to the Kalachuris of Mahishmati. By the 10th century, the Kalachuris of Tripuri had consolidated their power by raiding neighboring territories and by fighting wars with the Gurhara Pratiharas, the Chandelas and the Paramaras. They also had matrimonial relations with the Rashtrakutas and the Shalukas of Kalyani. In the 1030s, the Kalachuri king Gangiadeva assumed imperial titles after achieving military successes at his eastern and northern frontiers. The kingdom reached its zenith during the reign of his son Lakshmikarna, who assumed the title Chakravartin after military campaigns against several neighboring kingdoms. He also controlled a part of the Paramara and Chandela kingdoms for a brief period. The dynasty gradually declined after Lakshmikarna, whose successors lost control of their northern territories to the Gahadavalas. Trailakimaya, the last known ruler of the dynasty, ruled at least until 1212 CE, but it is not certain how and when his reign ended. In the later half of the 13th century, the former Kalachari territories came under the control of the Paramaras and the Chandelas, and ultimately under the Delhi Sultanate. History According to the 12th century poem Prithviraja Vijaya, the Kalachuris of Tripuri descended from Kartavirya, a legendary Hiheya king who ruled from Mahishmati, through one Sahasik. Courageous. Historian V. V. Marashi connected the Kalachuris of Tripuri to the early Kalachuris of Mahishmati, who ruled in the west central India. Marashi theorized that the early Kalachuris moved their capital from Mahishmati to Kalanjara at the end of the 7th century, and finally moved to Tripuri. However, there is no concrete evidence that conclusively proves that the two dynasties were related. Early rulers Little is known about the earliest rulers of the dynasty, who find mentions in the inscriptional genealogies. The earliest extant inscriptions of the dynasty have been discovered at Chahoti Diori and Sagar. These inscriptions are from the reign of Shankaragana I, and have been dated to the 8th century CE. Shankaragana III, who ascended the Kalachari throne around 970 CE, adopted an aggressive expansion policy. He defeated the contemporary Gurhara Pratihara king, who was probably Vijayapala. He probably died in a battle against the Chandelas. Shankaragana was succeeded by his younger brother Yuvarajadeva II, who established matrimonial relations with the Kalyani Shalukya ruler Tailapa II. The Paramara king Munja, who was an enemy of Tailapa, invaded the Kalachari kingdom and raided their capital Tripuri. After the death of Yuvarajadeva II, the ministers placed his son Kokala II on the throne. According to the Gurgi inscription of Kokala, three neighboring kings were afraid of him the Gurhara king, possibly the weak Gurhara Pratihara ruler Rajapala, the Gauta king, the Pala ruler Mahipala, and the Kuntala king, the Kalyani Shalukya king Vikramaditya V. These claims suggest that Kokala raided the territories of these kings. Gangiadeva, the son and successor of Kokala II, ascended the throne around 1015 CE. During the early part of his reign, he served as a vassal to another king, possibly the Paramara king Boja. He fought a war against the Shalukas of Kalyani, possibly as a vassal of Boja. The Triple Alliance of Boja, Gangiadeva, and Rajendra Chola engaged the Shalukya king Jayasimha II at multiple frontiers. Both Kalachari and Shalukya inscriptions claim success in this war. It appears that Gangiadeva and his allies were repulsed after achieving some initial successes. Boja defeated Gangiadeva in a war, but there is some uncertainty regarding the exact chronology. According to one theory, Boja defeated Gangiadeva before the anti Shalukya campaign, in which Gangiadeva fought as a Paramara vassal. Another theory is that the two turned enemies after their campaign against the Shalukas. Imperial expansion In the 1030s, Gangiadeva achieved military successes at his eastern and northern frontiers, and assumed the titles of a sovereign emperor. In the east, he raided Utkala, assisted by his Ratnapura vassals. 
The Kalachuris probably defeated the Bama Kara King Shubhakara II in this war. Gangiadeva also seems to have fought an inconclusive war against Yayati, the Somavanshi ruler of Dakshina Kosala. In the north, Gangiadeva expanded his kingdom at the expense of the Chandelas, who had been weakened by Ghaznavid invasions. He suffered a defeat against the Chandela king Vijayapala, but ultimately extended his control over the sacred cities of Varanasi and Prayaga. During his reign, the Ghaznavid general Ahmad Nialtijan raided Varanasi in 1033 CE. Gangayadeva's successor Lakshmikarna R. C. 1041 CE, was the most noted military commander of the dynasty. He assumed the title Chakravartin after several successful campaigns against his neighbours. In the east, he invaded Anga and Vanga modern Bengal. In Vanga, he defeated a Chandra king, possibly Govindachandra. Later, Lakshmikarna also invaded the Pala-ruled Gauta region. His invasion was repulsed by Nayapala. The Tibetan accounts suggest that the Buddhist monk Atisha negotiated a peace treaty between the two kings. Lakshmikarna also seems to have raided Gauta during the reign of Nayapala's successor Vigrahapala III. The two kings ultimately concluded a peace treaty, with Lakshmikarna's daughter Yuvanashri marrying the Pala king. In the southwest, Lakshmikarna fought an inconclusive war with the Kalyani Shalukya king Someshvara I. He also seems to have fought with his southeastern neighbor, the Chola king Rajadiraja. In the east, he defeated a Gurhara king, who can be identified with the Chalukya king Bhima I. In the mid 1050s, Lakshmikarna and Bhima allied against the Paramara king Boja. The two attacked the Paramara kingdom of Malwa simultaneously from opposite directions. According to the 14th century chronicler Maratunga, Boja died just as the two kings attacked Malwa. Lakshmikarna seized the Paramara kingdom, prompting Bhima to launch an expedition to recover his share of the war spoils. Within a short time, Lakshmikarna lost the control of Malwa to Boja's successor Jayasimha, who received help from the Kalyani Chalukya prince Vikramaditya VI. Subsequently, Karna allied with Vikramaditya's rival and brother Someshvara II, and again invaded Malwa. However, the two were forced to retreat by Boja's brother Udayaditya. Lakshmikarna also subjugated the Chandela king Devavarman, R.C. 1050-1060 CE, who seems to have died in a battle against him. He seems to have retained control of a large part of the Chandela territory for over a decade, before being ousted by Devavarman's successor Kirtivarman in the 1070s CE. <laughs> Decline Lakshmikarna's son Yashakarna R. C. 1073–1123 CE raided some neighboring territories, but lost the northern parts of his kingdom, including Varanasi, to the Gahadavalas. He also suffered defeats against the Paramara king Lakshmadeva and the Chandela king Salakshanavarman. Yashakarna's son Gayakarna married a granddaughter of the Paramara king Udayaditya, which led to peace between the two kingdoms. However, he seems to have suffered reverses against the Chandela king Madanavarman. The Kalachuris of Ratnapura, who had earlier served as vassals of the Tripuri Kalachuris, declared their independence during Gayakarna's reign. Gayakarna unsuccessfully tried to reduce them to submission. Gayakarna's son Narasimha recovered the territories lost to Madanavarman. Narasimha seems to have died airless, as he was succeeded by his brother Jayasimha. Jayasimha suffered a defeat against the Chandela king Paramardi. He also sent an unsuccessful expedition against the Ratnapura Kalachuris to reduce them to submission. During the reign of Jayasimha's successor Vijayasimha, a northern feudatory named Salakshana unsuccessfully tried to overthrow the Kalachuri suzerainty. Vijayasimha's successor Trailakimaya is known to have ruled at least until 1212 CE. He claimed the title, Lord of Kanyakaba. But in absence of any corroborative evidence, it cannot be said with certainty if he actually captured Kanyakaba. Trailakimaya is the last known king of his dynasty. It is not known when and how his rule ended. It is known that in the later half of the 13th century, the former Kalachari territories came under the control of the Paramaras, Chandelas, the Delhi Sultanate, and the Sunas. Yadavas of Devagiri. <laughs> List of rulers The following is a list of the Tripuri Kalachari rulers, with estimates of their reigns. Vamaraha Deva, 675 to 700 CE. Shankaragana I, 750 to 775 CE. 
Lakshmana Raja 825 to 850 CE Kokala I 850 to 890 CE his younger son established the Ratnapura Kalachari branch Shankaragana II 890 to 910 CE alias Mugdatunga Balaharsha 910 to 915 CE Yuvaraja Deva the 1st 915 to 945 CE Lakshmana Raja II 945 to 970 CE Shankaragana III 970 to 80 CE Yuvaraja Deva the 2nd 980 to 990 CE Kokala II 990 1015 CE Gangaya Deva 1015 to 1041 CE Lakshmi Karna 1041 to 1173 CE alias Karna Yasha Karna 1073 to 1123 CE Gaya Karna 1123 to 1153 CE Narasimha 1153 to 1163 CE Jaya Simha 1163 to 1188 CE Vijaya Simha 1188 to 1210 CE Trilakya Mala C 1210 at least 1212 CE